Put the light come on. A very pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother Eric Braxton speaking to you all from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago. That's my little friend. You could go out and play now, my little friend. A very pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. And once again, this is your Christian brother, Eric Braxton, speaking to you all from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, the land of my nativity, the land of my birth, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is in the blue Caribbean Sea. Speaking to you all in the month of January 2019, in the year 2009, speaking to you all on this Sunday, the month of January 2019. Brothers, in this part 3 video, and the title of this video, Patrick Robinson and Mel Melissa Scott, the wife of the late Dr. Jean Scott. In this part 3 video, I want to appeal to Melissa Scott and my, my dear sister Melissa Scott and Patrick Rob Robinson. I know that the court case is continuing in the court of Los Angeles. And I know Patrick Robinson and Melissa Scott, you all by no know my take on that matter, that I did not want that court case to end up in the court concerning the teaching of the late Dr. Jean Scott. And let me remind you all, in the new year, 2019, what I said, the year 2019, 2018, I, as I said, in 2009-18, as I record that in video, it already posts on YouTube, you call it, could check on that video, why I said that if God redirect Dr. Jean Scott tonight or today and Dr. Jean Scott come back alive today and know and get to find out that that court case is taking place between his dear wife Melissa Scott and Patrick Robinson concerning his teaching in the court of Los Angeles, it will hurt the heart of Dr. Jean Scott so dearly and so sad. Brothers and sisters, to know that his teaching concerning the perpetuation of his teaching after determined by a court decision between Patrick Robinson and his late wife Melissa Scott. And that's why I'm saying that court matter shouldn't have ended up in the court. But since it is there, I have to wait on the final deliberation concerning the outcome of that court case, brothers and sisters. But let me remind you all, brothers and sisters all over the world, those in the cathedral who are supporting Melissa Scott, those who are supporting Patrick Robinson. I just want you all to know that I, Eric Braxton, wish that that court case did come to an end very soon in the year 2019, 2018, but I did not get my wish because we're in the year 2018 and they're dragging on in the court of Los Angeles. How sad, how sad indeed. Dr. Jean Scott would not like that at all. And I, Eric Braxton, do not like that at all. Brothers and sisters, Brothers and sisters, let me remind you all, as I said, I do not want all those who are supporting Patrick Robinson, his followers who are doted, doting money, donating money and moral and financial support to help him to pay his team and lawyers concerning the court case. I'm appealing to all those who are helping Patrick Robinson and supporting him. I do not want none of you all recording no videos and posting it on YouTube or any of the social media to say any hurtful things concerning Melissa Scott. And I do not want all those who are supporting Melissa Scott, my dear sister, the wife of the late Dr. Jean Scott, Melissa Scott, the current beloved wife, all those in the cathedral and throughout the United States of America, or any part of the world who are watching Melissa Scott videos on a YouTube account, or Twitter account, or Facebook account. I do not want none of you all recording any videos and saying anything hurtful or dictatorial or detogorary or anything sinister concerning Patrick Robinson. Because that will not put none of you all in no place. And if any of Patrick Robinson followers who support us record any video and saying any hurtful things, or sinister or bad things concerning Melissa Scott, you all are nonsensical foolishness. And any those in the cathedral 
who are supporting Melissa Scott, recording any videos and saying any hurtful things or sinister bad things are concerning Patrick Robinson and the supporters, then you also are on so-called foolishness. Both of you are supposed to love one another and come together as two brothers in Christ in brotherly camaraderie with one another. And this is not the time for fighting and the division in the church of God, in the body of Christ. The church of God must be united in that united front, going forward, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God with one accord in unity, brothers and sisters. This is the way Christ wants us to live. This is the way not fighting against and division in the church. Can you all remember that the church of Corinthians was divided? They was divided. Because Satan had the church of Corinthians divided in that way. And therefore in this time, in the last days before Christ come, we do not want the church divided. There is division in the church of God. But Christ wants to clear up that matter before he comes. So that when he comes, he wants to see his church, the body of Christ, fully united, brothers and sisters. So I have to remind you all that. Very important about that spiritual and that physical unity in the church of God, in the body of Christ, brothers and sisters. So once again, in this part 3 video, I just want to say, to remind you all once again, well I deal with the court case, before I come to the end of this video, I just want to throw something in the mix, which is very important, and stir it up in the pot, National Sunday Law. I want you to know that Patrick Robinson, that that mm, Dr. Gene Scott make a mistake, he observes Sunday as the Sabbath is the Lord's Day. And Robinson, Patrick Robinson, if you observe observing Sunday as the Lord's Day, as the Sabbath Day, then you are wrong. And therefore I'm appealing to you, Patrick Robinson, that Sunday is not the Lord's Day, it's not the Sabbath Day. Saturday is the Lord's Day. So Patrick Robinson, if you observe in Sunday as the Lord's Day, as Dr. Gene Scott used to observe it, you need to change from Sunday and go back to Saturday, observing Saturday as the true Sabbath day. And by the way, Patrick Robinson and Melissa Scott, you all are not paying attention to that great Bible teacher, the late Dr. Gene Scott. I mean the late Herbert W. Armstrong. Yes, I have to bring Dr. Herbert W. Armstrong in the pit here because you see Herbert Do Melissa Scott and Patrick Robinson when Herbert W. Armstrong was alive believe it or not he was the leading apostle of God upon the earth when Herbert W. Armstrong is alive I never said he was the only true man of God upon the earth I said he was the leading apostle of God upon the earth in the days of Dr. Herbert W. Armstrong when he was alive and Patrick Robinson I want you to know that Dr. Gene Scott and Herbert W. Armstrong have met and they had that cordial discussion. And even Dr. Gene Scott said about Pat Herbert W. Armstrong, he's a true apostle of God. Oh yes, if you are ignorant of that, my dear friend, brother and colleague, comrade in Christ, Patrick Robinson, I want you to be aware of that. And therefore Herbert W. Armstrong observed the true Sabbath day, which is Saturday. Why Dr. Gene Scott make a mistake and observe Sunday? And therefore, I am appealing to you all that that wrong thing that Herbert, Dr. Gene Scott was doing need to be corrected by you all listening what I say and following my instruction. And to all the saints, all the Christians who all over the world who observe in Sunday, I am calling for Saturday observance and not Sunday. Pope Francis is calling for Sunday worship. And for Sunday to be observed as a national day of worship, as a national Sunday, as a national day of worship and rest. But Pope Francis is wrong. They have changed the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday when it was never changed by the Jews or the apostles or by Jesus Christ. Saturday remained the Sabbath day. And therefore, I, Eric Braxton, is appealing to the Christians all over the world who are observing Saturday that observing Sunday as a Sabbath day, you all are wrong. And you all need to return back to Saturday worship. To Saturday and observe Saturday as a Sabbath day and no longer Sunday. So I'm, this is a clarion call. This is a spiritual and a Christian and a biblical clarion call to all the Christians all over the world who observe Sunday as a Sabbath day. You all are wrong. 
you all are observing the clistical mark of authority of the Roman Catholic Church who have no right to change no Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday. Saturday remains the Sabbath day and therefore Patrick Robinson and Melissa Scott, you all need to return back to Sun Saturday and observe Saturday as the Sabbath day and no longer Sunday. My dear friend, so I'm, so I'm throwing out that clarion call to one and all that observing Sunday. Sunday is not the Lord's day and Sunday is not the Sabbath day. Saturday is the Sabbath day. In no other name, but in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye-bye, my friends.